Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to episode 15 here on Let's Farm. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the Mahindra. You know what? I'm going to show you guys the garage real quick. Make sure you guys, you guys know what's going on here in the big old uh, red machine shed. There we go. We got the deers. I do want to get a case. I want to sell that 6M over there with thin tires. I don't think we need it. Here, we might do that tomorrow, okay? So put that on your to-do list. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. So, Garrett, where are you at right now? I'm, I'm heading over to you. I'm over field 17, 16, and 15. Uh, just here with the bailing stuff or over billing equipment pretty much and yeah just wait just waiting for you i'm here with the ford very cool so you're up there with that with the f-350 he's loading up bales i'm on my way over right now i believe we have our automatic bale loader so we don't need the 40 foot anymore and we we're gonna make some good good money over there i haven't checked prices but we're gonna sell either way whether prices are up or down we need to sell some straw bales we need to get some income in here and uh, yeah so that is the move so, Garrett, make sure, guys, we're looking at a case IH. Make sure to go in the comments. Let me know what model you guys want to <clears throat> see or if you guys want to see a different brand as well. So, I'm not going to do John Deere. Obviously, we have a lot of John Deere. We already have a new Holland. I think I think we're going to go case. A few people have been asking for that. So, let me know. Whoa, I almost went off the cliff there. Holy Mahindra. Oh, okay, be careful. Be careful. Maybe somebody was right about the John Deere. Um, <clears throat> the John Deere Ranger being uh, very... <laughs> very uh a lot more quality than the mahindra so maybe yeah the steering is off a little bit <laughs> okay nice of you to show up <laughs> it is nice of me to show up garrett's been out he's having you but you've been working since 6 a.m buddy oh yeah we've already dropped off quite a few loads i've been riding horses i've been doing lots of stuff i don't know what you've been doing I how think are sleeping. the horses how's clarence today clarence is good snuffy's doing better though so Snuffy's yeah. doing better than they're better Clar than clarence mm. snuffy's always doing good though so yeah. So there we go, guys. Again, this pile that we made, we we had it on the PJ trailer, and then we accidentally took out the PJ trailer of our save game, and so uh, this whole entire thing was um, just dropped. So really, there was a trailer underneath, if if that makes sense. And so we got the auto um, auto stacker trailer here, which is super yeah. nice. I think it actually might almost be full as well. I think so. it is. I think it's yeah, it's gonna be full very soon. Yeah, I think that was the gonna... last one. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll find out. We will see. Might, might do one more. I, it looks like there's still space, but it's definitely, definitely filling up. <laughs> I think that's all she wrote. Yeah, that's everything. She oh, don't want no, it. No, she's yeah. still spinning, but yeah, she doesn't <laughs> want it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set this here. Gary, I'll be the driver here today. If you want to take the Mahindra back and maybe, um, we have a lot of work to do. If you want to go, actually take the C T7 back. We don't oh, need it. Okay. We could actually start cultivating our smaller fields down below. We need fertilizer. Today is a big spray day. I have 16 bales, and and we're gonna kind of see if the if the F350 Super Duty baby can handle her. And uh, we'll, we'll we're gonna be throwing Lambo's link in the description for a lot of uh, Lambo's been helping out and stuff like that. Once again, go check out G Portal for five percent off dedicated servers if you just use my link like it's if you go there separately on the internet without my link you won't get the five percent off and uh it'll, it'll tell you if you have the five percent off as well so that's pretty cool stuff if you guys are interested in a dedicated server okay i'm heading off here i should probably go a bit slower gary you are moving in the t7 man that yeah new is quick. i am oh yeah well okay this thing was this thing's worth quite a bit of money so i hope that it would have lots of power with it <laughs> That's that, yeah, that's true. We threw on uh, duels on the front and the rear, which is super nice. And uh, yeah, I'm loving the T7. So I'm looking for a new brand uh, other than John Deere in New Holland. So yeah, if you guys think Case is the move, let me know by going in the comments. Let me know if pretty much what what new brand you guys want to see, and whether it's challenge, what what whatever you guys want to see. Let me know. Okay, where's the best place? I'm gonna get out of your way here, pull off to the okay. side. Then uh, we're gonna figure out the best prices our straw bales i think that's going to be the move let's go ahead and look commodities and then guys, we, we are go. selling them because we have so many right now oh i almost i almost dropped this trailer uh but yeah, yeah we're so many so we're gonna be gonna be just selling these ones that we have now okay can we sell okay i think we can only sell straw right here at the barn and prices are down a lot we're getting 78 bucks i don't know how much they were in the past but um yeah we'll see here okay so i'm thinking just right away to start spraying these fields because these fields down here need to be sprayed and we know the ones where we previously were do as well 
All right, perfect. Yeah, go ahead, Spram. Let me know how things are going over there. Right, yeah, hopefully then... we have enough enough uh, stored so we can do all the field and we don't have to buy any more. That liquid. is very true. We'll see. We'll kind of see how that goes. And then, yeah, what's the best way to the barn? Um, I think I take a left here. Yeah, so we're gonna see, Garrett. We should be able to make a few thousand dollars off this sale. I hope we do, cause we 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 have a decent amount of money, but not. Not the amount we're looking for. Oh wait, at no. A farm. Um, I think we're only gonna break a thousand, but this is only sixteen bales. Ooh. The uh, we're gonna at least fill up two of these, maybe three. You know, we only yeah. put a dent in that pile that we had, so no big deal. I really like this new. I feel a lot more comfortable pulling this load. It's not mm -hmm. as hard on on the uh, on the old three fifty there. Very true. Very true. Going back up here, boys. All right, where's our sell? Where's where's the salesman? Where? I think, uh, I think we're supposed to sell it here. I wonder where, okay, okay, okay. We should be able to sell it. Maybe I have to unload. Here, let's, Gary, you say they unload in the back, correct? Yes, they do unload in the back. Like directly behind it. Okay, here it goes. Here goes nothing. They it should have sold cool. already, but yeah, I'm l unloading right now into their location. Wait, maybe, um, oh no, oh no. Is it working? This might be the wrong unloading spot. Oh, no. Okay, you might be able to fold it back up before you drop them. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they should have sold already. We're going to see. <sighs> okay, okay. Um. Dang, okay. I think. Okay, I'm super. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If we back up here. And then let's go to our icon. And we sell. Okay, that's sell wood. Okay, hey Garrett, there's like a glitch. Ooh. I used to, I know I can sell straw at the bar. Like, this is an official <laughs> thing I have done so many times before. But what is, what's, what's the, what is the problem? Um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so I go to commodity prices. Here is straw at the Maybe bar. Maybe there's a different location you have to drop it. Yeah, no, I've done, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Like, if there's another drop-off point located at the barn maybe they just relocated it yeah we could look into that Ooh, garrett um wheat's up a lot right now so we could look into that okay that's good to hear selling that okay um dang okay we're gonna figure this out here hmm. maybe i do have to unload them yeah. Just take like one bell out so you don't. No, I don't think you can. All right, we might. There we go, guys. We just sold it for five thousand dollars. Okay, okay, Ooh. okay. So how it worked was, I just had to unload. So it didn't want to. We'll go ahead and lower this here. It didn't want to sell un until I got them on the ground. So once I started to unload, they were disappearing. The barn was taking them. Very cool stuff. So if you guys are ever doing, I guess this is kind of a learning lesson for me as well. Um. I was a little skeptic. I didn't know. I mean, I've unloaded here before, but I didn't want to unload 16 bales and have to pick them <laughs> right back up. So that was my fear and kind yeah. of what we were doing. So let's go ahead and pull out of here. I got a lot more to do. I'll let you know. I guess what are you up to? Yeah, you're fertilizing, you're spraying. Yeah, yeah. It's taken a, it's taken a while. We obviously have our big field to do after this one. Um, but we should be able to get it all done today. All right, I'm coming to check in on you. Make sure you're working. Where are you at? I'm in the woods here. Oh, there he is. Okay, there's no good way. We kind of... How do I... Have you sprayed? Uh, I don't want to go in... You just sprayed herbicide. I don't want to yeah. sneak in there. Or sorry, pesticide. Is it? No, it's herbicide. It's herbicide. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's herbicide. I think yeah, it's let's herbicide. Look. Let, let, let's, let's... Oh, wait. I can pick up a... Uh, we have a straw bale right here. Okay, let's go ahead and pick <laughs> it up. And That's yes, awesome. let's triple check... Just because I hate pronoun. Uh, yes, herbicide. Okay. I didn't know if they had pesticide as well in this game, but yes, it's herbicide. Let's go ahead. There we go. We got a straw. Are there any other bales around here that we just have missed in the past? Let me know, Garrett, if you see any. Yeah, I, I will let you know. I think I think we got them all, um, but honestly, if I was the one who was doing it, we may have missed some <laughs> that is true that is true so we have a little um we are going to right when i get done with these straw bells i can probably take one more load on my way over 
I'm gonna go check on the sheep. I guys, I think we're gonna make a sale of the wool. So we're, uh, today is kind of uh, we aren't making big money, but we're we're kind of cashing in a few things here in terms of straw bales, cleaning up the farm. We're spraying it over on Garrett's guys. Make sure to go check out Garrett's channel as well. He has his perspective. If you guys want to see spraying, if you want to jump in the sprayer with him, uh, he would love to have you over on his channel in the description as well. So that is kind of the aspect on the other parts of the game i guess or the other parts of today's episode yeah what we guys we obviously uh me and spencer tend to try doing different things in both of our perspectives so you guys can watch both of them and still see something new yes for sure yeah we don't want to do the same thing like every single episode so let's go ahead go over here i will see you guys when we're all loaded up all right there we go we got the last bail loading up as we speak there we go let's go ahead and fold her up so we have 16 bales. We have three left. Oh, that's kind of a shame. Oh, well. Um, there's some Hendra there as well. Let's go ahead. I'm going to pull around here. I might I might just leave these on the on the trailer here and kind of wait for prices to move. Maybe sell them tomorrow or even the next day because, as you guys know, prices shift with um, as we increase our supply. And so that's going to drive prices back down, which they are decreasing as we speak so i think garrett we might wait for the barn to get a little more generous maybe okay uh, maybe wait them out a little supply and demand tactic uh like oh, to yeah call. it's all about the tactics guys <laughs> there we go there we go let's go ahead and crank it around your boy is studying economics in college so so we know all the hidden secrets of how to uh exploit these these suppliers and uh yeah we're gonna even though it's perfect competition boys we're a little better than the rest so S and G farms can charge a little higher price. We aren't price takers, is that right, Garrett? That is correct. We're price makers, baby. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and crank it around here, and then we're gonna haul back. I love going down these. I I think it's really cool how we how we can come down here, and then I think I might. Yeah, I'm gonna go check in on the wool. We'll detach from this trailer. We'll just hold on to this for the meanwhile, and then I might jump on the mower at the end here and mow around our pasture as well so that's gonna be let's see we don't have the PJ trailer there hmm I think we might be able to fit the wool in the bed we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see how much wool we have what we got to do with it oh we still have that we still have the PJ trailer I am wrong excuse me I am wrong I'm actually gonna go ahead I think I'm gonna hook up to the PJ trailer okay depending on how much wool we have spraying fertilizer my sir yep Yep, we are doing so. <laughs> there we go. And if you guys are enjoying today's video, let me know by smash the like button. If you guys just, maybe if you don't like this video as much, maybe you guys like us doing other stuff, still smash the like button if you want to support the channel. Um, that We would appreciate it a lot. We're going to go check up on Rocky real quick, Garrett, and then I'm going to hook up to the PJ. Okay, so should I go spray the top field? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, they're going to need spray as well. So Garrett is knocking out. Oh, my goodness. He's... He's going ham everywhere. He he's going everywhere. That's awesome. Yeah, going going across the map today, guys. There we go. So yeah, if you wanna go head over there, I might need your help. I might need it here soon with the seven R and a few other things. Oh, you missed a spot. I missed. Uh, what? Don't worry. Don't don't turn around. It's not worth it. You'll get on your way back too. It's just a little. Right there, boys. What, what did I miss? The fertilizing or? Fertilizing. Yep. Fertilizing. Or, sorry, sorry. Uh, spraying, spraying. Is There's it a, along the edges? Because yeah, some it's edges, the barn. I know, it wouldn't it's do sketchy. the edges for some reason. I don't know I why you. exactly, but it seemed like some of the edges it didn't like as much. I got you. I got you. So right when I grab right right when I drop off the F three fifty, we're gonna go ahead, jump in the seven or the six R, excuse me, and hook up to a front loader as well as. Ooh, we're gonna need power forks too. I might have to make two trips. Um, that might be a thing. Oh, I will need some spraying over if you we got some weeds around the the pasture here. Oh, okay. Um well I'm right now heading to the top field. Cool, cool, but cool. like I'm almost up there, but I will definitely head back once I'm done this. Okay, so Garrett, we got some uh we got some goodies here at the sheep pasture. Look at what they already made for us. Oh my goodness. We got some goodies H yeah. how many goodies <laughs> uh i guess in quantity sense let's go ahead and look at we have 347 wool i guess whoa that's the uh how they do it here so we will need water so i'm gonna bring a, the tank of water over with the 6r with the front loader we got a lot of work to do we do 
We do. Guys, also, we're trying to balance out, like, I know some of you guys love when we do farming. Some of you love when we just throw in a ton of mods, like, in our military series that we just started recently. Um, but yeah, so we're trying to balance it out. So hopefully mm -hmm. you guys are enjoying both sides of it. But I know for some of you guys, you like one or the other, which we I do understand. we might take a poll to see who likes what, or if you just like to see both, the kind of pace that we're doing it at. We will have to slow down farming if we want to do the uh, do mods and crazy stuff in the game. Then we'll have to slow that down if we want to do farming. So, um, But winter break, we're probably going to post two videos a day. So we'll have one of each. So that's going to be very exciting times. Just a heads up. I'm so excited to be off of school. So, uh, winter break is is uh, is very exciting. Let's see. Garrett, how did you park this thing, dude? Uh, which thing? I'm the not water the best tank. parker. Oh, the water tank? Oh, you parked tank? it insane. Like, how did you... Oh, I don't know. I got really lucky. I forget which vehicle I was driving, but it seemed to have fit pretty good. I didn't want to back her up, so. Okay, now I seem to have taken that a little too far. Let's see if we can pull her through. There we go. We got the water tank out. I'm heading over to 6R to, to clean up our mess over at the chicken coop. Oh, my goodness. And the... Uh, yeah, we have a decent amount of water in the sheep pasture. All right, so here we are. We're just about to give the sheep their... We're, we're pretty much, we're pulling water water boy here today. So we're just going to be giving everybody the water they need, making sure they aren't thirsty here. And uh, it's pretty warm out. So we'll make sure things are up to par here. And we'll go ahead, unload, press I. I hate how it's dual axle <laughs> and the axle is like articulating. Let's go ahead. Oh, cool. are they going to drink all my water? I hope they don't. don't. They just drank all my water, Gary. I should have filled it up. No. Is it the sheep? Yeah, the sheep drank it all. The we sheep drink so much water. Okay, yeah, I should have thought about that. I'm going to have to go fill up real quick. I'm going to clean up the place first so that I think I might I had something else I need to grab too. So let's go ahead and clean up the place with the 6R. How is uh, how spraying? you see any anything crazy out over there? Everything's going pretty smoothly, which I like. I like. I, I don't like when there's big issues like there's no it doesn't seem like we have any land that's sinking doesn't seem like there's any unknown specimens anywhere or anything like that so we seem to seem to be going pretty smoothly very good very good so let's go ahead clean up the sheep's trough here there we go so if you guys are curious this is like pretty much just how you clean the sheep and then i'm pretty sure we can just take it and feed it right back to them yeah, guys, it's uh -huh, just them, like, not. spilling stuff over, I believe. At least for the chickens, that's what it is, right? Oh, wait, you can't you can't feed them it. Oh, okay, so they're different than chickens. So I'm not sense. sure what they want us to do with it, because we cannot... It's saying that it's, that it's hay. Like, this is what the sheep eat. They eat hay. Maybe because it's uh, they're 100%. Um, hmm. Looks like they're... But don't you think that would be... I don't know. Kind of weird stuff. What I'm going to do, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do. I might leave a pile just over on the side just because, like, it's hay. It's not a big deal. There we go. Literally, it's just dried grass. So let's go ahead back up here. I'm going to clean up the chicken coop. So I want these guys to be on. Oh, my goodness. Garrett, we have so many so many eggs. We have, like, six boxes. Whoa. That's Five. crazy. Mm-hmm. Also, it seems like we might have missed a few of the withered crops in the past. Because I'm just looking, and I seem to be seeing a few of them still still down here. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so there we go. So on that, okay, I think our sheep are full of hay and grass. So I think what they spill, they can't take back into their trough. But for the chickens, looks like they've been eating a lot. So I can just give them whatever they spill back. For some reason, I can't pick up that. Oh... Go to chickens. So they're 74% cleanliness. They do need some feed. And then for some reason, oh yeah, they'll need water as well. So I'm going to make sure to go and do that as well, guys. We're tending to the livestock today and a few crop works over with Garrett. So it seemed like some of this uh, field might have already been sprayed because I was just going through and it seemed as though some of it was already done. <laughs> you sure? I. You can always little, look on your map section, too. Was. Yeah, well, that's the thing. So I went. I went out and like was going over and I saw it here. We'll see. Um, yeah. Okay. So some of it is was fertilized already. Not all of it, but some of it was. 
Gotcha, gotcha. All right, I'm going to hook up to the water, water tank. We're gonna have to fill her up all the way to the brim if we wanna have the sheep and the chickens have all their troughs full of water. Very good. I'm liking the sheep so far. Super easy, super fun, and uh, I think I think pigs will be next. Maybe, maybe cows just because. Pretty sure cows are a little easier, a little easier, but we might go pigs just because. I don't know, I got a soft spot in my heart for pigs. Well, let's go ahead and hook up to the water. All right, there we go, guys. We're hooking up to the water tank here. So this, Gary, you're saying that, yeah, this was here, but we didn't place this down. No, that was that was here when we got the land. Okay, so this came with the map. Just a heads up. You don't need a water tank, which we which we actually placed over there. We thought we needed it. We do not. We should have. This does look, this is literally a blue, like, water, water huge pipe that's here. Um, yeah. Okay, so we should have thought about that. No worries, though. Going it does, in there. our defense, it does look a little bit old, so we didn't like, it didn't necessarily work, right? Yeah, we like, that's no what clue. my presumption was when I first saw it. I was like, oh, it's just it used to be here functioning, and now it just hasn't been maintained. Yeah. But I guess we were wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, everything was kind of broken down there um, by the trees and stuff. There's like a little scrap kind of junk area, so we were like, what the dirt is that? But it's a water <laughs> tank, so. Heads up, guys, just buy a water trailer, which is in-game as well, If you, uh, whenever you're doing livestock. And it's super easy, and it's on the farm. But if you have, like, a farm that's way off, and you need to place it down, like, I there's no big deal for me, like, driving here, so we don't need to place it, you know, by, by over here. So, yeah. That's the move. Let's go ahead. See if we can... Yeah, the land's super deformed. If you guys didn't see us our first day with the sheep pasture... It, uh, we placed it down and stuff. It's not the easiest when you have a sloped, sloped field. But you got to kind of make do with what you got. Definitely. Yeah, we weren't going to... Guys, we weren't going to buy another field or something. Like, we, we don't have the funds to do it. But even if we did, like, why would we buy another field just for that? Like, with flatter land. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. The sheep are full of water. We're going to be drinking for days. Productivity should be 100% over at the sheep. Um, and they should be making wool left and right, baby. I like it. That's what we like to hear. That means that means lots of money. <laughs> that does, that does. Okay, where where do I unload water to? I think I unload it right here. At the sheep. Or, sorry, the chickens. I'm trying to figure out where I go to unload water. Uh, water for the chickens... Ooh, not sure. Hmm. So they obviously, they do take water. So let's go ahead and look here. Whenever you're curious about things, you can just look right here. Oh, wait, they don't even take water. What? I no. guess the rain water is enough for them. I, that's that's interesting because okay. in real life, I know you definitely need to give them water. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, they drink water. So yeah, I think it's just the rain water is good. They're full of water. I know I can drop it off back by the horses. And then, yeah, so here we have. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up some pallet forks. And then I think we'll be loading up the wool to go and sell. And that's going to wrap up today's video when we go and sell. So I'll see you guys when we're back there. All right, so something really cool we got going here is we have this new kind of storage shelf that we placed down. It was not cheap. Not at all. Well, okay, it was cheap for the material, but then we had to level the land, which was... That's always... That is always the problem. Detaching tools is not allowed in this state. What state um, am I in? Maybe I have to shut her off? In California? There we go. <laughs> in, in California. That's funny. <laughs> uh, so there we go. We were able to unload that there. So super cool stuff. We have bale spikes that I'm going to put up here as well. And then that's telehandler right there pallet forks but i'm just gonna load these spikes up for the deer and uh yeah it matches the green it's not john deer green green it's more lime green but it does make this look really really cool all right for some reason we were able to unload because we we're on i don't know some yeah we were able to unload in that state which we were on which wouldn't let us unload earlier kind of weird all right we got pallet forks now let's double check these are pallet forks yep there we go. All right, I'm on my way over, Gary. Are you excited to sell some more? I'm curious to see what we get for. Yeah, I'm. That's one thing too. Like we've never sold wool before, and we guys, we've never really even owned sheep before. Um, so we have literally zero clue 
how much it's going to sell for. Do you know where we sell these bad boys at? Uh, there's one place we can sell it. Well, one place that's requiring it right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, the spinnery. The spinnery? Be, All right. That totally to makes sense. Up. So what I'm going to do now is we will hook up here, get them loading up onto our PJ trailer, which is kind of off to the side. Ooh, should we? I think I might just sell one one pallet right now. We could sell two. I know when we pull it off here, it's just going to make another one. So it's not, I don't think it's a big deal. That one's half full and we just take it. I think we don't lose any money whatsoever. Okay, let's go ahead. Get the pallets level here. I kind of missed there. Oh, I cannot see in first person. We cannot do first person. <laughs> there we go. We'll go ahead and back up here. And we'll dip down. Yeah, that's the problem with the land. The dip is just so extreme. It's kind of hard to work with. We're getting a lot done here. It's not even 8 o'clock, man. Yeah, yeah, we are, we're doing good for the day, guys. We are definitely doing good for the day. All right, let's go ahead and set these down here. And I'll go get the other one, I think, and then we'll be on our way. All right, so we got it. We got the wool loaded up. I'm on my way to the spinnery as we speak. As you can tell, when I did pull the wool off there, it did make a whole entire another pallet. So my, my, uh, my hypothesis was correct, and we might be bottoming out right now, and that is not good. Come on, F350. <laughs> There we go. The duels. Got it. You got it. <laughs> I do. I do. I hope I do. Um, yeah. Ground is uneven. Anything that is longer than like 20 feet is not happy. And this BJ trailer is 40 foot. And uh, she likes to bottom out pretty quick, pretty soon. And so we're going to. This is the best way. This is the best drive down. We kind of have like a level drive in here, which is the nicest part. Um, <laughs> you do have to kind of be a little careful. So the spinnery is not far. We're going to make some moolah today. Again, we do. Uh, we do have like fifteen thousand dollars worth of uh, straw bales that we're gonna sell, so I think straw bales, straw bales, you make a lot of good money. So, my opinion, at the, wait, is this the spin? The spinnery's right here. Wait, uh, yes, cozy wool traditional spinnery. That's Ooh. funny because our sheep, we I can literally see our sheep pasture from here, and I am at the spinnery. Let's see <laughs> where we sell. We got some construction tape. Looks like we got it right here. The price did drop a lot. It's under $1,000 oh, now, but oh. it's better than nothing. Oh, we sold it. Uh, ooh. We got to sell another piece. So we made 1000 there. Why didn't this one sell? Some moms, they like to be kind of nudged over a bit. Deal. Grab her. There we go. And then 100 there. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the wall. And that wasn't even a day. That was like half a day fourth of a day kind of so that is the sheep there we we're able to make roughly what was that like 1500 bucks i mean i'll take her yeah I'll better than her. nothing better than the a little better than the chickens but obviously there's like no work to be done there's mm -hmm. literally none and so you that's, literally give them water yeah you which is free <laughs> give them water and then grass or hay so just which grab is, a mower yeah. and go like it's one of the most simple things and uh, I think it looks pretty good. But, yeah, with the cost of land, the cost of placing, that is a concern because it does cost a lot just up front here at the pasture. But they make a lot of make a lot of good stuff. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode here, episode 14 on the Let's Farm series on Ravenport. Once again, we we're wrapping it up here. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'd appreciate it. And uh, I will be seeing you all in the comment section. Peace.